let's think of a charge and it is in circular motion circulating a, a ring of radius r at a constant speed and the charge has the in general the charge q and the speed is constant and you will find uh, the magnetic moment of this circulating charge so to find the magnetic moment first we have to define what the current this circulating charge uh, defines right so and we will use the definition of the current the current is defined the charge uh, passing through a point uh, per unit time and in our case our charge is Q and the time uh, required to pass from the initial point at any point you can take the initial point uh, as a, the capital T which we call the period of the uniform circular motion the, this is something we know from our um, lectures in the uh, first semester and for any um, uniform circular motion this capital T refers to the period of the motion that means it is the time required to make one complete revolution right so and this period can be easily find by the total distance in, part, in one revolution divided by the speed so it's very easy and as we put all things together in the definition of the current then we can have the current defined defined by this circulating charge is the charge q times the speed of the um, charge object and divided by 2 pi r and since this uniform circular motion also defines the angular velocity we can write uh, this current in terms of the angular velocity as q times the angular velocity omega divided by 2 pi because the angular velocity and the linear speed uh, the tangential speed of the circular motion are related to each other by omega is equal to v divided by r so this is uh, the current and of course um, if we have a current uh, in the shape of a circle then uh, this defines the area the area is just nothing but the uh, area defined by this ring and it is just a pi r square because in order to define the magnetic moment we also need uh, the area which is enclosed by the current and we can write down the expression for the magnetic moment as i times a a is the area vector of the uh, ring of course the magnitude of the a is the area of the uh, uh, this circular region and what about the direction direction is uh, by using the right hand rule the direction will be uh, out of the page right because when you put your four fingers in the direction of the velocity then your thumb uh, will show up the direction of your area vector all right so the magnitude is pi r square and when everything is put all together we can have the magnetic moment defined by a circulating charge is one half the charge q times the speed of the uh, charge times the radius of its uh, circulating ring well it is in general uh, this is the convention that to uh, uh, denote any uh, uh, circulating charge a magnetic moment in terms of its angular momentum so if you want to write down this magnetic moment in terms of the angular momentum defined by this circulating charge we can have since the angular momentum is for a circular uh, circular motion is m times v times r and we can put also this uh, angular momentum into the expression and we can get the uh, magnetic moment as q divided by 2m times the angular momentum so in terms of the angular momentum also we can um, denote we can uh, define the magnetic moment and the magnetic moment in that case uh, can be written as a proportional vector to the uh, uh, angular momentum of the circulating charge and this proportionality constant in physics has a very special name 
It is called the gyromagnetic ratio. So uh, whether you have a particle which is spinning or any uh, charge which is circulating, then uh, the magnetic moment will be proportional to the uh, angular momentum defined by the system and this proportionality constant is always called the gyromagnetic ratio.